What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 318 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Tops, and joining me, as always, is my best friend, Jam at Gaming. Who's that? Oh. You said your best friend. Uh, Who's that? You replaced you, re you replaced me? Jam at Gaming. What the fuck? Who's who's the new host? Jam at Gaming? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, no, it's 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 me. You you replaced me with you? No, I'm just doing my best Justin impression. Okay, do it. I'm doing it right now. I don't sound like that. <laughs> yeah, well, you, this is me. The people are hearing that what they think is J-Mac, but that's am I how talk, good my am impression I, is. Am I talking to myself? Oh, I'm talking to myself. No, I'm, I can hear me twice. <laughs> that's how good the impression is. There you go. It took a little bit for that joke to settle in right there in your dumb little brain, didn't it? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Hoovy and Drago, 77. Not much to say in the pre-show. Oh, but this pre-show match. Now, this one's one for discussion. And a poor pre-show match. Got Chris Candido, Shane Douglas, and China defeat Hardcore Holly, Mike Barton, and Jacqueline when China pinned Mike Barton <laughs> with a power bomb. You booked it, brother. Don't don't <laughs> laugh. As if you booked it. I just it. think it's funny that China pinned Mike Barton. That's what you left for, Mike, Mike Barton. Barton. Hey, what? Don't, don't. He was almost a tag team champion. <laughs> True. <laughs> we are here. Chef Psychosis. Uh, limping, selling his wounds after his big battle with Hoovitude. He's got his championship, and he says, you know, at the pay-per-view, once again, I had another battle with my friend, Hoovitude. He took me to my limits, but once again, I am here, the universal champion. That took a lot out of me. Fighting my brother. My next, my next title match, this one, this one's gonna. This one's gonna hit different. See, with, with, with Hoobitude, I was battling someone I loved. Tonight, I'm gonna go to a fight. I am getting into a fight tonight. I'm gonna fight a man who continues to disrespect me and all my fellow cruiserweights and and, and all my fellow wrestlers in the back. Scott Steiner, you're stepping into the ring. The face of thunder. This is my house, and I'm going to give you a housewarming gift, which is going to be me kicking your ass in the main event, and once again walking out with the Universal Championship. Uh, uh, Scott Steiner shows up. He says, Jeff, the only room in this house that I think you have any authority over is the kitchen, because you're a chef. And then and you open that fridge, and the only thing in that shit in that fridge is pancakes. Donuts and, and, and eggs that eggs that are bad for you. Unlike me, who ate a who who ate a whole ass cow when I woke. Not just a steak. I ate a whole cow. It was farming. It was mooing. I grabbed it and I devoured it. Cause I'm Scott Steiner and I'm as big as a house. And this is Goldberg, and he's as big as a slightly smaller house. If I'm a mansion, he's like a condominium. Hey, listen, can I? Now I'm going to take that Universal Championship from you. I'm not just going to beat you. I'm going to send a statement. A statement to anyone who thinks they can be a professional wrestler. If you want to be a wrestler, you have to have the look. And me? And he flexes. He says, that's right, ladies. You see this. Big Papa Bump. The biggest arms in the business. The big bad booty daddy. He's got the look. You chef? You don't. And I'm going to prove it in the main event when I take that championship. Oldberg, he's just nodding. He's nodding, cracking his knuckles. And then he says, Chef Psychosis, you're next. Scott versus Chef tonight in the main event for the world title. Let's go. Come on, Chef. We're all rooting for you, brother. And speaking of rooting for people, brother, we got a Cruiserweight Classic first round matchup. This is a Starcade main event. Uh, a Starcade main event. A Starcade rematch. This was not a Starcade main event. This was a rematch from Starcade. Lasharka versus Shane Helms. And in a decent match, Shane Helms defeats Lasharka with a vertebraker. Good. Shane Helms, after ditching the cape, has been on quite a roll. That is true. This got a 100. Sting is in the ring. Oh, no, yeah, Sting's in the ring. He's on a match tonight. He says, 
Tonight, I'm facing Chris Canyon. Remember, Chris Canyon, that's the guy who beat Mick Foley a few weeks ago. <laughs> Mick, you want to face me, a rising sun? Absolutely not. Why would I waste my time continuing to battle Mick Foley? I already beat you. I beat you Sunday. I'm moving on to bigger things. Maybe I'll go into the the, the big five-on-five five team match. Maybe I'll lead Team WCW to a victory and earn myself a title shot. And then maybe I'll go on and I'll face the winner of Owen Hart versus Raven. And maybe I'll do it that night. Maybe the icon Sting pulls double duty. But I won't do that if I waste my time fighting a washed-up ECW has been like you. My answer is no. Now, Chris Canyon, get your ass out here. You got a date with Destiny. Oh, good, good for Chris Canyon. He's got a date. He's got a date. Hope it goes well. And then a good match. Chris Canyon defeats Sting. Oh, I tap it out. He taps out Sting. There was a distraction from Mick Foley. Chris Canyon. Get the... Mick Foley after an interference from Sting. And beat Sting with an interference from Mick. There you go. He didn't get concussed this time. He's so mad. He stands up. He says, Forget everything I just said! Forget everything! Erase it! <laughs> Mick Foley, you want to face me at Rising Sun? You got it! And that's it. Versus McFoley. Yeah. Rematch at Rising Sun. A rematch to a rematch. Yes. That's the three, some would say. And we've got another Cruiserweight Classic match. And a decent match... Big Papi Chavo. You remember, he was the runner-up of last year's tournament. And he defeats Jamie Noble with a pinfall. Uh, yeah. And it, it advances to the next round. Chavo looking to, uh, to, 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 to get back to the final, except you would have to imagine that he wants to win this year. And uh, him and Jamie Noble have great chemistry. Yeah, but the crowd were turned off by having a match with uh, pre-show workers. So they have no investment. Well, in. listen, Chavo Guerrero is not a pre-show worker. He's the man. Papi Chavo. Don't 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 make me pull up his match history chat. Don't make me do it. <laughs> don't make me do it. <laughs> Listen, the history's in the past. And speaking of what? Uh, you heard me. You am I not I'm not wrong. History's in the past. And speaking of Well, this is the first time this has ever happened because this is the history's in the past. This is the, yes, the present. <laughs> Speaking of dance battles, Scotty Too Hotty and Too Cold Scorpio once again have battles. a dance battle. At Disco Inferno and Disco Fury, the fans, you know, they're they're getting pretty sick of seeing dance battles. And then all of a sudden, the Faces of Fear's music hit. And they come out, they say nothing, and they just batter these two teams. Now, I'll give credit where credit was due. This was something that Justin told me would be a cool thing to do. And, I, you know, I, I, I tried to play cool and said I was going to do it anyway, but I got to give Justin his props. This was a Justin idea, so... This is a fear of batter, these two dancing teams. They're they're sick of the dancing, they're sick of the fun and games. So am I. <laughs> Justin is famously anti fun. Oh, Alright. <laughs> and in a decent match, Dean Malenko, a uh, cruiserweight classic match, uh, defeated Homicide with a super gut buster and advances to the next round. Fully face Justin in the next round. I think he will take on the winner of this next Cruiserweight Classic match. That is a good assumption, and we will find out who that is in later in due time. Because Bret Hart is comes out to the ring. He says, listen. Bret Fart. Bret, <laughs> Bret, Bret Fart. <laughs> the shit man. He comes the out. shit man. <laughs> <laughs> Bret the shit man shark. There's a there's a full there's a there's there's a troll in the audience that has that as a sign. <laughs> Came out in pink and brown singlet. <laughs> Bret Hart gets in the ring. He says, "I'm not here to talk about the main event of Rising Sun. I'm not here to talk about it. Raven versus Owen. That's going to be a good match. I don't really care about the outcome. What Owen does with his life is him. I don't care. What I care about is the goal I gave myself at the beginning of the year, and that was next year." in wrestler of the year so i see a rising sun i see a man named masawa a man who won this year's wrestler of the year and what better way to make my claim to that award 
beating the man who held it last year. So a rising sun, I'm calling out Sawa. It's going to be Bret Hart taking on the wrestler of the year, a rising sun. I'm going to make Misawa tap out. I'm the best there is, best there was, and the best there ever will be. Hart versus Misawa, Justin. Are you excited for Hart versus Misawa? No. Oh. Of course okay. I am. I hope Misawa wins, though, to prove why he's the number one wrestler in the world. It'd be funny. It would be funny. Uh, but would, not as funny be... as this. Why would that be not funny? Not as funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. But this is, the, I'll tell you what's no laughing matter this match. Kurt Hennig versus David Flair. David Flair, of course, uh, and Kurt Hennig have beef. David Flair thinks Kurt Hennig, you know, forced Ric Flair out of WCW. And he's mad about it because Stardust is an asshole. And where's my match, dad? Yeah, where's my daddy? And in a oh. decent match, oh. Kurt Hennig. That came from a dark place, didn't it, Chad? <laughs> oh, no. In a decent match, Kurt Hennig defeated David Flair with the Hennig Plex. Look at that. Yeah. Kurt Hennig. Daddy on the pole match, win- baby. <laughs> Back in the win <laughs> column, baby. Good for Kurt Hennig. And our final first round. Man's texting classic. during the video. I heard that phone get put down. <laughs> our final, <laughs> not nonsense. Our final, final first round cruiserweight classic. Chad's own show you know, is you, boring him. <laughs> you know, you talk about uh, epic legends squaring off. You talk about two <laughs> Japanese wrestling icons. Del Santo Del was Del Santo. never in Japan. I know, but I gotta stay face after accidentally saying it was. I have to stay face. Alio Del Santo and Funaki. And in a bout that had uh, transcending wrestling, I think that's what I said. I believe that's what I read. Um, but had so much heat. Alio Del Santo defeated Funaki with a, <laughs> a La di la Calaballo. <laughs> you get, you get second farther round. and farther away from the correct pronunciation of that move every time. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> And advances to the second round of the Cruiserweight Classic. Neto will take on Malenko in the next round. That's that's gonna be a big. That's gonna be a good match. Now, Chad, you see, I went to Road Agent Notes instead of the report. Did you see why? Oh no, maybe maybe he won't. It's because Funaki benefited from having a hot new move. Oh, a hot new move! A hot new move for the hot new boy, of the Cruiserweight Division Funaki. Oh. oh yeah, he had a Canadian destroyer. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We are backstage. Chef Psychosis is getting ready for his match. And these cruiserweights, you know, they all come out and they go, listen, Chef, we're rooting for you. No, this isn't just a title match. You're not just fighting for, for that championship. You're fighting for all of us. And, and we all respect the absolute hell out of you. We just want you to know we're rooting for you. Go kick some ass. And Chef, and, and, well, and you see Ray, you see RVD, you see AJ, you see Kidman. He says, all of you? Then, you know, someone pushes their way through the crowd. And it's Uvi. He says, yeah, all of us. And they hug. He says, go kill, go kill. I was like, go kill him. Go kick his ass. And Chef says, you got it. And he runs down to the ring. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. And in a superb match, Justin, Scott Steiner defeats Chef Psychosis oh. with a Frankensteiner. Oh, so... Chef Psychosis took Scott Steiner to his limit, but Goldberg, after Scott Steiner tried to untie the turnbuckle and expose the turnbuckle, distracting the ref, Goldberg ran in, speared Chef Psychosis, which then set up the Frankensteiner, and Scott Steiner wins the WCW Universal title. What a scumbag. Yeah. Sickening. Absolutely sickening here, Chad. Sea of booze. People are they're, so They're throwing trash in the yeah, ring. I was just going to say, they're throwing shit in the ring. They're Like a tin can hits Goldberg in the head. I just, which, which, I, I just threw an empty back. wrapper at my screen. I'm mad. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're feeling motion. I threw $2 at the screen. Oh, well, you can't buy your way out of this one. Uh, unfortunately, Chef Psychosis has lost. And after the match... 
God, I, and, and you know what? And, and, and they were going to lose the first, but then that tin can hit Goldberg, and he got pissed. So he turns around, and Scott Steiner's like, I gotta fucking throw things at the champion! So they get up, and they just start beating down Chef. And they, they it's one of those classic, absolute dismantles. Uh, Goldberg. Why did anyone help him? Say, what? Find out why no one helped him. You'll have to find out. What the fuck? They all help him all day, hype him up, and no one saves him? What the fuck's going on here? Did they, did, did the cruiserweight class, the, did, did the cruiserweight division just turn on Chef? No, it's what to see. 88. 88, I'll take that. I will take that. Um, yeah, perfect. That was Thunder. We have a new Universal Champion, and his name is Scott Steiner. Boo. Boo. I'm not booking, about booing your booking. I'm booing Scott Steiner. He's a heel. He's a heel. No, you hate a, him. He's a piece he's a of bully. shit. He's a bully. He's a bully. You might, you might as well give Chef Psychosis a, a Seth Psychosis. Chef Psychosis. Dabba, so dabba, dabba. Like... <laughs> <laughs> dabba, dabba, dabba. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you for episode. All right.